Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the Collective of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome Cross Watchers. If you're brand new to the channel, very glad you landed here. Um, sorry, my kitty's behind is in the shot. That's Leo. Um, he happens to be a Gemini, but he's, <laughs> he's not in the mood <laughs> for his um, close up today. So we'll just let him be him. Uh, I have a little sticky note to remind me to tell you Cancerians that you are the recipient, the winner of the next bonus reading. So not sure if you've been paying attention, but each month a uh, different sign gets a bonus reading and it's usually just, uh, you know, based on a gut check. I sort of am watching for um, a sign that sort of rises up with um, more views or more engagement or something that just really gets my in attention. And Cancer Lately, yeah, lots of views, consistent over the last a few series of readings. So thank you, thank you, thank you. There have been some changes to the algorithm. Start, it kind of started like end of May, early June, and my channel just kind of went off a cliff. Um, and I have been beseeching all of you to kind of help me. Uh, like my fingernails have been on the edge of the cliff and you've all been really supportive. And cancer, like, yeah, I've noticed. So thank you. So roundabout mid-September, keep an eye out <laughs> for your bonus reading, meaning in September you'll get three readings. I know. It's exciting, and many thanks for that. So I'm pulling from Whispers of Love. Let's see uh, what message we have for you to activate this reading. Card 49 actions speak loudly express your love through actions right and that's perfect because i always kind of you know here toward the end of the month i go back and i look and i'm like wow who knew cancer really pulled it out <laughs> i'm like how did i miss that and i was so pleasantly surprised yeah thanks for that really the support means more than I can say. So, like, where are my cards? Hang on. I got to I gotta get some cards. <laughs> I, I was so busy making sure I had my sticky note for the bonus reading that I forgot my cards. All right. So what I'm going to do is pull the spread, give you my general impressions. We will get the details from the clarifiers. Let's do this. Empress. So we're leading with divine feminine energy. What's crossing this? Wow. Okay, so we're being challenged here around fate, destiny, um, divine time. Maybe something that you're bumping up against in your unconscious awareness. So the, the Ace of Swords is... Um, the aces are gifts from spirit. You've heard me say that. And it may be that something is some insight, some awareness, some realization is kind of trying to find its way to the surface. So it's there. You just haven't had that moment of going like, oh, now I see it. You know how you have those moments? Some call them an epiphany. Oprah calls it an aha moment. It's there, it's within you, it's in your unconscious awareness. Um, and so you're having this little struggle maybe, and as soon as this rises to the surface, it'll all make sense, is what I'm trying to say. All the, look at these, three major arcana and an ace. In the past, the world card, and the world is talking to us about that cyclical nature, cycles, right? Something ending so something new can begin. It is a card of Saturn, and Saturn does talk to us about lessons being learned. Um, and, you know, when a cycle closes out, the hope is that we don't got to go back there again and relearn any lessons the hard way, one and done. Wow, in your conscious awareness, another major arcana we are talking about, um, themes around conventional committed relationships. So the storyline is coming through pretty clearly. And yet another major arcana, um, the lover's card. Um, 
five major arcana and the ace for this reading on the bottom of the deck is the justice card so yet another major arcana and it's this is base this is a major life shift this is a major life changing moment um which is talking about fate and destiny and the timing of things so you're about to have a major realization could be some truth being revealed possibly a reunion or possibly um something to do with um commitment up leveling of this connection babies can't have mommy's drink you know that um so before i go ahead and butcher anything here since we're talking about major life changes why don't i just jump in and clarify empress and the wheel of fortune emperor very strong twin flame vibe here devil on top of that underneath is a nine of wands i feel you're asking i feel you're seeking some truth Are you you're not getting some clarity yet it's there but maybe um fate destiny but also maybe some karma you're pushing through you're struggling to see is this a twin or is this a karmic partner and you may have some fears around that let me hold that up so you can see it right because the nine of wands underneath would be a struggle it's um definitely where we're feeling pushed to the limit we haven't given up but essentially that um wheel of fortune is what's crossing us it's the challenge and we have the emperor and the devil there and it's in, and the devil doesn't have to be anything nefarious. It's just there's a question. There's some information, some insight, some truth um, that has yet to be revealed. Uh, like you, you know it. It's in there somewhere, but it hasn't yet shown itself to you. Um, so you're still trying to push through. And it's difficult. Ace of Swords. Knight of Swords would be a clearing of the air or some truth coming in. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Right, that. There's guarded energy. I feel that's yours. And once this conversation, this offer of of truth this um, clearing up of any misunderstanding comes through it might help um, bring in some positivity it might you know a positive message would help you open up to see things maybe a little more clearly I feel like you're very very worried very concerned um, that devil could just be your fears of what am I really dealing with here? The nine of wands, you're still persevering, but there's an energy in your unconscious awareness of I'm kind of holding back, uh, kind of guarded. The world in the past. Hermit, 10 of swords, five of pentacles. So you've either learned this lesson the hard way in this connection or in another connection. It could be different for each one of you. It's a general reading, not a private reading, so you have to take it as it speaks to you, um, right? It's almost like I hear you saying, yeah, I've been there before. And I had to kind of pull myself out of painful ending, um, being cast aside, devalued, rejected, abandoned, and dark night of the soul is what I'm seeing here. Hermit, Ten of Swords, Five of Pentacles. And that may be something that brought about an ending. And that may be what you're struggling with is, is this my, my fate, my karma of like another repeating cycle of this shit? So for some of you, that may be what the issue is and why you're kind of starting to re retract and 
um, feel very guarded because you don't have that information. You think you don't, you do, but it, it isn't revealing itself to you intuitively. Hierophant in your conscious awareness. I mean, the Empress again, Tower. King of Pentacles. So what's on your, your mind in a very conscious way is instability, a uh, breakdown in either a committed relationship, possibly a marriage. If you're not yet married, would this be a marriage that would last? Is this someone who would be reliable, that would be a stable marital partner, life partner? Um, you know, it's looking to me like that's where the questions are. That's where the uncertainty is. That's where the struggle is. If you, um, if this is someone that you were together with and there was a breaking apart, there is a potential for reunion. And so there may be some concerns about is it something we should, you know, that I should um, reconcile? Yeah, this could be like a number of different situations. So I repeat, take it as it speaks to you. But it's life-changing energy with all the major arcana from the main spread, from the main deck, and that ace of wands in your unconscious awareness. It's there res residing within you. It's already been gifted to you by spirit, but you have to kind of open up to see it, grab it, right? Sometimes there are things we don't want to see or we're not looking at. We're looking at other things. We're, we're, um, we're distracted. So let's see the lover's card in the near future. King of Cups. Nine of Swords, Six of Swords. So I'll first say this is all about the same person. You know, Emperor is the highest and best of all four kings or the lowest and lower vibration. You get the drift of all four kings. So King of Cups, King of Pentacles is the Emperor. This is someone who in the near future there may be a lot of worry, concern. I did say the word worry before, and I'm seeing it here now for sure, uh, about reuniting uh, with this person, getting, you know, worried about being able to get beyond the drama, the tumultuous energy to something calmer. Um, getting to the calmer waters is what we normally say about the Six of Swords. So that would give me a clue that, that there's been some calamitous energy between you, Tower, Ten of Swords, um, and that devil here is, is your concern. What am I dealing with? So I don't know if you are afraid of this person, because the devil can be your own fear, or I don't know if you're questioning the nature of the connection, twin flame soulmate or karmic partner. It could be either of those. It can also be um, just fears that this may not work out. The timing is just not right. We're not meant to be together. In any event, I do see some opportunity for reunion and some worries and concerns about working things out. That's what the future holds. So there's a lot of present energy, uh, right? About what's really going on here. Is this someone who I can depend on? Um, and then in the near future, can, can this be resolved in a calm way? Am I dealing with somebody who's emotionally available? who is emotionally mature, who can express their feelings, 
in a way that can calm my worries and allow us to move beyond this, okay? In your unconscious awareness, we got some guarded energy and there's something you're not quite seeing yet. But some kind of positive, straightforward, truth-filled message could be helpful. So that's what I've got for you here, guys. Powerful experience. If this is speaking to you, it's big energy. It's a big life shift, a big moment in this connection. Uh, I am going to take it to the extended. So before I give you the astrology, let me tell you about that. I'm going to look at um, your connection together. So I've given you the overview of what's happening. What I'm going to do in the extended is look at what works for this connection, what isn't working for the connection, and what the opportunities are to maybe ameliorate those problems and challenges. I'm going to get you a message from this person. What do they want you to know? What are they picking up from you, right, energetically? Like, what is the vibe? Um, hidden energy, so what don't they want you to know? What aren't, what aren't you seeing? Um, a message for you from spirit with some guidance, maybe something you should be aware of, and then we'll look at how things might unfold going forward. So those last three positions would be the balance of this spread. Okay, so that's what we're going to do, and the links to that are below. I said links because there's three options as to how to get extendeds. Make sure you read through before you click purchase. Thank you, and if you have not yet already, and this reading has spoken to you and you enjoy my style and you've been watching me for any length of time and you haven't yet, please do subscribe. That's the whole way I get to stay on this platform and overcome the nasty algorithm <laughs> gremlins and let um, YouTube know that just because I'm not an influencer or a newcomer doesn't mean I'm not legit. Okay, so I'm asking for your subscription. Thank you in advance. Here we go. It's going to be a lot here. We've got Venus, not once but twice in this Empress, Taurus and Libra. We have Jupiter in the Wheel of Fortune, rules Sagittarius. The Emperor is here, Aries. Devil is Capricorn. Knight of Swords is Gemini. Page of Wands, all the fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The world, as I said, is Saturn, Aquarius, and Capricorn. Hermit is Virgo. We're in Virgo season now. Yay! Hierophant is Taurus. The Tower is um, Mars, which rules Aries. King of Pentacles is more Taurus. And then we have the Lovers, which is Gemini. King of Cups is Scorpio. So that's what I've got for you guys. Yeah, actions speak loudly um, and louder than words. So you want to watch what they do not what they say. I'm headed to the extended. I'll see you there in a second. Bye for now.